everyone, and welcome. It is a rare, what is it, a Monday night? Yes. Yeah, I got my wife here, Sue is with me, and I was, we were just in a Martian mood. I was watching a Mars documentary about, uh, well, about Mars, but about Mars atmosphere, and it got me really in a mood to look at some Mars knocklight and shergatites. So um, Sue's going to tell us a little bit about these, and I'm going to show them off. Sue, you want to help us out with the first one, please? Sure. The first Martian meteorite we have is NWA-17472. This is a Martian shergatite. It was found in Northwest Africa in 2024. This is a 15.68 gram piece, and the price on it is $939. This one is super, super special. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, if I remember correctly, this, this was uh, like four kilos total known weight between two stones. Um, as you can see, they were kind of kind of like a grayish stone with a little bit of green in there. Um, the gray and is, I think, uh, pyroxene crystals. And then if you're seeing little shiny bits, like this one up here by my finger, uh, if you've seen those shiny bits that look like silica, like uh, mica or whatever, it's not. It's actually masculinite. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's backlit. This is super special and super rare. Look at how translucent that is. Wow. All right. This was the biggest piece of Mars. That is correct. Can you turn on the light for me, please? Absolutely. Yeah, this is the biggest piece of Mars we have for you today. Wow. Absolutely stunning. All right. Let's go on, baby. All right. Let's move on to some NEA053. And this is some more Martian shergatite. Uh, this was found in Libya in 2023. Uh, we have two slices and a crusted fragment. The first slice is 6.463 grams, and that costs $675. I was really, really fortunate. Well, because I worked my ass off, but I was in Tucson when this stone arrived, basically, last year, early 2025. Um, I saw it after it was cut, but it was a single stone, uh, two kilos as well, believe it or not. And if you're noticing on one side, like on the right side, see how small the grains are? And on the left side, they're really big. Those are elongated pyroxenes. Um, now, wow. And I picked out these pieces because they really, really show this dual lithology very, very well. So you basically got a half and half piece with this. What's super special about this one is it's a sugar type it's classified as an olivine bearing so this is like a third olivine literally 33 percent olivine what, what's the other what's the weight on the other one baby um the weight on the other slice is 7.219 grams and that one is 755 dollars wow and topher does hand pick all of our specimens he doesn't just buy you know large lots yeah. of them yeah, thanks for pointing out because a lot of people, well, I've seen a lot of buyers buy by the weight and they just buy, you know, no. I'm, I'm looking at each individual piece because I know it's going to be looked at this thoroughly by someone else. So this is a, a pretty interesting one. The um, plagioclase in these has transformed to masculinite due to the uh, shocking. Um, we have one more, and this one's actually really cool. This is not a slice. This is a fragment. This is a 2.699 gram, and it is $295. And I'm about to show you the really cool part. Look at that. Look at how shiny that is. When you, when you hear of glossy black fusion crust, like that is exactly what you're expecting. It does not penetrate the rock, but whoop, there we go. Look at how glassy that is. 
super cool. And as you can tell, this is a very friable meteorite. When it hit the ground, uh, the single stone, uh, a lot of parts little fell off of it. And, and this is like very rare to have crust. So super happy to grab that one. We are in the middle of our Mars shoot. And my wife, Sue, just told me to look down on the ground. And look who we have. Hey, Butters. Hey, little girl. <laughs> She's keeping us company, hoping you guys are enjoying the Mars. We are jumping into Amgala. Amgala is an interesting one because unlike these other ones that we showed you today, <clears throat> where there's only four kilos of that and only two kilos of this, there is a bunch of Amgala, which is great because it makes it very affordable. We have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. I'm gonna cycle through these. Maybe Sue can give us the weight of the first one. Sure thing. Oh, uh, by the way, did, were you gonna mention who, who prepped these? Yes, <laughs> yes, I had a few things I was gonna mention. Okay, okay good. So this is Amgala 001. Um, I, I, it had a few names before they um, eventually settled on this one, I believe. Um, this it was found in Western Sahara in 2022. Uh, the six pieces we have to show are all end cuts. These were all um, cut and polished by Topher Spinato of Topher Spin Meteorites. Nice. And I enjoy doing it too, to be very, very honest with you. And the first end cut we have is 3.391 grams, and this is $153. Very nice. I had to adjust the light so you guys can see very well. But a rock from planet Mars. This is the second one. This is a 3.374 gram end cut. This one is $152. What's the classification on this? A, this uh, is a shergatite. Um, but in the uh, metal, it is a shergatite um, olivine ferric. Olivine ferric. Yeah, so each, there's three, there's four main types of Mars, but in the very common ones, that's, that's number two. Um, we have a 3.25 gram end cut. This one is $146. Yeah. These are all really affordable if you don't own a Martian meteorite yet. This would be the entry level Martian uh, that you can grab. Yeah, and if, if you look, uh, I'm gonna show you on, the, on this first one here has a little bit of a weathering rind, a weathering around the uh, around the exterior. On this one, barely has any weathering. So that's how one way you could look at your Amgala pieces and see which one, which side of the freshest samples. Next, we have a 3.068 end cut. This one is $138. This one is bad ass. Look at that shock in there. That's not a crack. That's not a. Uh, that's not like a crack at all. You can see it starting on this side here, but that is a shock vein. That is a beautiful shock vein. You can see in that shock vein the hardened minerals. Very, very cool piece. So far, that's my favorite one of these. It would be that number four one. Okay, number five is 2.417 grams. This one is only uh, $109. $109. Now, everything, I, 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 hopefully if you're here watching this, you guys know that we're trustworthy, but uh, everything we sell comes with a COA, Certificate of Authenticity, and basically that gives you a money back guarantee that it is exactly what we state it is for the life. So, uh, well, at least when it was published in the Met Bowl, it could get reclassified. <laughs> this is the last one, baby. All right, this is 2.744 grams. This one costs $124. All right, so that is all of the Umgalas. That's all of the budget ones. <clears throat> now we move on to knock lights. Knock lights are one of the other main types of Martian meteorites, and they are even rarer and more expensive. All right, Sue, which knock light are we looking at first? Okay, the first one is NWA 
10645. Oh. This is a Martian knocklight found in Northwest Africa in 2016. This piece is a large crusted fragment weighing 8.002 grams and it costs $2,999. There. I readjusted the light to help you guys see this a little better. You can see the green, orange, cream colors inside. Just a beautiful uh, knock light. And then here's, here's what it's all about. Look at this. Fusion crust with flow lines. This entire side is all fusion crust. Now there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of cleaning. You could do this to this with vinegar and get that uh, caliche off to make it really super shine like that. But you can see waves of fusion crust uh, flow lines in the fusion crust. So these two entire sides are fully crusted basically. Um, nice interior and then some more crust on this side. If I remember correctly, this one has a really, really high percentage of augite, like three quarters, like 75% of this thing is, is augite. So it's super, super rich with augite, which makes it a cool one to have. Um, so we'll go on to the next one. Oh, that, that is crazy. I, I forgot how much crust this one had. Okay. I, okay. The next uh, one we have three crusted fragments to show to you. Oh, cool. It's NWA 15364. It is a Martian knocklight found in Algeria in 2022. The first fragment is 0 0.546 grams, mm -hmm. and that costs $191. And these are awesome to look at under your microscope. So this is fusion crusted as well. You can really tell on this side. Look at that. These are super hard to photograph. I mean, really super hard to capture these things. Um, this one is, well, I guess all of these that we're showing you is, are super rare. The knock lights are super rare. There's only been about less than 30 knock lights ever classified. I think 26 or so, and only one obviously was a fall. If you know which one was a fall, put it in the comments below. I'd like to see who gets it first. No um, cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so um, this was the first one. This was... Uh, the point four five six gram, and $191 was the first one. Yeah, okay, very good. Ooh, look at this one, big one. This is a 2.037 gram knock light. This one is $713. Now, knock lights, this, this has fusion crust this entire side over here. So look at that. Knock lights are uh, a rare type of Martian because they are at the bottom of volcanic uh, magmatic uh, plumes or, or uh, tunnels, whatever you want. I'm not a geologist, guys, but at the end of a volcano, when it's done uh, expelling what it needs to expel, that's where the, uh, sh the knocklet material would come from. So these are all formed at different depths and different ways uh, on the planet. Much like all the rocks on Earth look a lot different from each other. I'm going to the last one now, or the right. last one of these. This is our most affordable of the NWA 15364. This is a 0.377 gram piece for $132. <laughs> Look at the fusion crust on it too. Honestly, all you really need, uh, all you really need to enjoy these is a is a uh, an eye loop. It looks super small in my hand, but we're talking about a fusion crusted glossy black piece of planet Mars that's been validated by science and I'll give you a guarantee for life that is it is what it is that you can show it off to anyone with pride. You really you get an eye loop and you can super enjoy this. You, if you have a microscope all the better but all you really need is a like a $10 eye loop off of Amazon to really enjoy these samples. 
And they'll, that'll also help you with this next one, which is near and dear to my heart. <laughs> NWA15200, the 200 gram knock light. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> Found in Algeria in 2022 and uh, total non weight 196 grams. You showing the first one? Yeah, I'm showing the first one. I got Point stuff. 0.318 grams. This one is $159. And what's very, very special about this one, this is my actual classification. So I didn't do the science work on it, but me and my friends went in, we bought all the material, we took the risk, we brought it to the lab, made the donation, paid the test, did the oxygen, uh, oxygen, oxygen isotopes. Thank you, mm -hmm. uh, testing, and um, to prove that it actually was what it was. And, uh, yeah, so I'm really happy and proud to have my name in the Met Bowl on this very, very rare Martian knock light. All right, uh, we have a crusted fragment. This one weighs 0.257 grams, and this one costs $142. One of the things I do remember after we uh, sold the first bunch of them when it first got classified was everyone was freaking out about how amazing it looked under the microscope yeah i don't think i've had a re heard a reaction from that many people to a meteorite before yeah this is something that you really uh need to enjoy under an eye loop or magnification or something that's why it's that's why i still have these they're so hard to photograph and sell to be honest with you um yeah this is a crusted fragment it is 0.229 grams this one is 126 dollars um, yeah, I was going to mention that too. Actually, every time you photograph a few and I put them up uh, for sale, they all go. Yeah. <laughs> but we still have a lot of it just because we it's, it is hard to photograph. Yeah. All right. We're moving. We have two more to show, and we're only we're about eighteen minutes. So yes, this is right as planned, guys. Hmm. This is the. This the... is a point two three four gram. Fragment, this is the least expensive of the knock lights. This is $117. Actually, and, it's the least expensive of all the Martians we should and, know. And that's fusion crust too, isn't it? Um, I think it is. It has a little patch of fusion crust. Okay, yeah. Well, I guess we didn't note that wow. before on okay. our inventory. But <laughs> awesome. I think that's what I'm seeing. I'll Which tell you means what, you, they're paying yeah. $50 less a gram yeah. because you didn't if notice it, the fusion crust. If it crust. has fusion crust and and uh, and I didn't catch it when I marked up the price, you just say $50 a gram. <laughs> so move on that one if you want. That's the 0.234 gram one. Now, this is cool for people who have older kids, I guess, science related, the third, um, the last one. This one is one. a three stone lot, crusted fragments, um, weighing in total of 0 0.341 grams. Uh, this one is a $188. I'm not even gonna try to remove those tiny hairs. They look like giant horse hairs, but I swear they're not. You can't even see them when you're looking at <laughs> them with the oh. naked eye. Why now? Why is this cool for for three older kids? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, if you, if you buy this and you can give three pieces of Mars out to to your net. Oh, look, there's a piece of fusion crust. Yes, you. We did know oh, that on these. We did. Okay. <laughs> yes. Look, there's fusion crust in that one They're too. They're all crusted fragments, I believe. Oh wow, this guy knows what he's doing. Yes, he does. Wow. No, this is cool because if you have like some brothers or some nephews or whatever, you want to buy one gift, shut them all up at the same time, but not give them any reason to fight over each other, there you have it, a three-bagger. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that little trip to planet Mars with Sue and Topher of Topher Spin Meteorites. Uh, remember, education is free. You can get all that you want on our YouTube channel, man, but meteorites have a little bit of cost to them. So if you wouldn't mind supporting the cause, put a meteorite in your collection, we sure appreciate it. Have a nice night.